In the Shay, um, Ghanaian singer says black should love blacks first before fighting racism. And this is in light of the um, all, all Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter campaign that is going on in America right now. And we've seen a lot of African artists jumping on that as well, saying that Black Lives Matter, regardless of where you are, regardless, because it's some, the racism is something that affects all of us. So. When the Shea is saying that we should learn to love each other first, we've seen the issue of xenophobia in South Africa. We've seen, even here in Nigeria, we see the police Tribalism. brutality, tribalism, mm -hmm. and all of that. So it's quite disturbing, but what's your take? Yeah, for me, once again, I think people don't really understand the reason why people are this ag aggressive against mm -hmm. racism. You need to understand that there is something called systemic racism, in which there's a system built against you. So whether blacks love blacks, whether white people love white people, racism, the fact that there is that system right of now. racism, wherein as a black person, you're not doing anything, you're already being racially profiled, mm. you're already suspected as a thug, mm. you're suspected to be a criminal, that, whether you like it or not, is the biggest problem right now. Because you don't want to walk into any space and feel like as soon as you're already judged simply because of the color of your skin. Mm -hmm. Black on black crime can exist because of so many different reasons. Mm -hmm. But racism is specifically because of your race that you mm -hmm. cannot change. Mm -hmm. So that is why it's a problem. All right. So like I said, you never know what to expect in the show. So joining us from Ghana, since we're talking about the Ghanaian topic, is Joshua Fares Esuman Mensa, also known as Al Jay Z. Pardon me if I mothered your name a bit. He's an artist, songwriter, music producer, actor. Al Jay-Z has produced and worked on lots of music, including the mixtape, Be Good, Be Safe. His musical perspective and genre has varied periodically, and due to that, he has developed great inclination to creating his own genre. And hey. ladies and gentlemen, permit me to welcome Al Jay-Z to the studio. Hey, hey Al Jay-Z. What's good? What's good? Yeah, what's Charlie, yeah, what did yeah. happen? I do, Charlie. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. Nice I'm just, one. you know, we in the mix. We are, we out here, man. Nice one, nice one. So, um, you you heard the first story about what Wendy Shea said about blacks should learn to love each other before fighting racism. Being in Ghana, and she she gave um relatable experiences about how she moved from Germany and she experienced racism. But when she got to Ghana, she experienced worse stuff amongst her own skin color. So, what's your take on that? Uh, well, for me, I feel I, I feel like um, um, there's a bit of truth in it where we have to we have to be able to love ourselves before we can um, actually expect other people to love us because we can't be here and expecting you know the white people to love our skin color and we in we ourselves cannot even love our own brothers and sisters. You get what I'm saying? It, it, it all defeats the purpose in the end. So I mean, there's a bit of truth there, but it's also true that i mean um our lives matter like black lives matter and that that's uh, where the focus is right now you okay. get me all right because obviously obviously the white race um they obviously have an advantage or privilege over us you know which is not fair so i mean the main focus is you know um being able to make sure that black lives matter but then i mean it all begins from home. It all begins from ourselves. We have to be able to learn to love ourselves. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you for that input. So now let's move on to music, which is your forte. How is it like um, maintaining or producing music during this coronavirus times? Because I know that there were a lot of shows that were suspended, concerts were stopped. How has that affected you and your music? Uh, well. Um, you know, in both ways, it's affected me uh, positively and negatively, you know, in the sense that um, on the negative side, you know, there hasn't been shows, you know, the um, source of income has been a bit uh, slow. And on the positive side, you know, it's, it's allowed, it's created more, you know, the avenue for me to, you know, work more and then, you know, try and find more sound and, you know, focus on my sound more. So then I've been, I've been recording more creating more and then I mean that's what's most important right now you know all being right. able to work on your sound and improving yourself all right so in terms of survival yeah. um the an association came out to appeal to the government to allow 
concerts to uh, to come to their assistance during this period and i think the government has now opened not i think i know for a fact that the government has now permitted um concerts to take place in ghana but with necessary measures being followed so what's your take on that do you think it's too soon are we ready to have a concert that uh, uh safety measures being put in place or you think that we should still be on hold for a while um to be honest i feel like we should still hold on for a while because you know um because of the because of the whole um you know uh racism um frenzy and all that um people have people have seemed to um people people have forgotten about the corona and how uh, deadly it is you know and haven't really seen people um you know uh, focusing on you know the, the pandemic which is uh, the corona so i feel like if if it's going to be open now i mean shows are going to be open now it's it's going to put us in you know in a very um good position to you know uh, catch this uh, virus you know because we, we can never we can never be sure there's still cases on like there's still ongoing cases there's still people you know being um there's still people being uh, catching the virus sorry so i i feel like it's too it's too soon Right. So let's talk about your music. You have your own genre. What what is it called? Uh, okay. So I try to uh, I call my I call my genre feels. Okay. You know, and feels feels is more like uh, it's more it's it's very spiritual. It, it depends on your mood or how you're feeling. You know, and the type of music that comes out. It's very it's more of a, it's on the alternative side, but has an infusion of you know all sorts of um of different genres basically but it's an infusion of like different genres and then um making it my own you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. so um that's what i've been working on I've, I've been working on trying to find my own sound and i mean so far it's going on well for me and right. i hope you so know I'm in curious. due time i just love my craft yeah so i'm curious you've been mentioning that you've been working on some projects are we going to be expecting anything post covid 19 um post covid 19 yeah or are you preparing to drop something during the pandemic what's it oh well um well i've i've i've, I've planned on dropping a couple singles you know uh for the year and then uh me and my me and my group lamem gang we're, we're looking forward to dropping an album uh, this year, you know, late this year, in the last quarter of this year. So um, for me, me working, I've been working on my personal projects, on three different projects, you know, because I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to feed my, because because of the versatility that, you know, I exude in, you know, making music, I have to, you know, feed each and every um, class or caliber, you know, fans that I have. Some people like to listen to the Afro side. Some people like to listen to the you know the trap side or the hip hop side, so I have to I have to feed my fans. You get what I'm saying? So I have to I have to make uh, more than one project, and that's that's my aim to feed them as much as possible. All right. So I've been working. I've been working. Yeah. All right. So welcome to the other side. This is the part where I'm going to have to put you on the spot. Um, in, for people who don't know what you sound like, so we'd like you to drop a freestyle, and it has to be on Black Lives Matter and rape. Say no to rape and Black Lives Matter. So I'm putting you on the spot. This is your chance to win Nigerian hearts. Like, bro, you better kill this. <laughs> well, well, for me, it's been a while since I freestyled, but uh, I don't know. I think um, let me let me try let me try and do something. Um, yeah, okay. What's the rundown? I heard your man about to be a man now, but I heard he got beat in the street. It's a man down. He lost from defeat. That's hands down. He already lost in the street like a man. Ah, uh, we're, we're feeling the vibe. We, we know there's a bright man, future been, ahead. You know, I'll try. I'm trying. It's been a while. Yeah. All right, all right. It's all good, man. Thank you so much, brother, for joining us in this part of the world. God bless you, man. Stay Thanks blessed. Stay blessed, my yeah. guy.